सो गाइज गुड इवनिंग एंड वेलकम वंस अगेन टू जेसी अकेडमी मैंने मैं सौरभ जुनेजा और आज हम फिर से जुड़ गए हैं साथ में टू प्रिपेयर फॉर दी अपकमिंग आई बी पी एस एसओ मार्केटिंग ऑफिसर मेन्स एग्जामिनेशन राइट सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट जस्ट अ रिमाइंडर दैट वी ऑलरेडी डन थ्री सेशन एंड दिस इज गोन बी सेशन नंबर फोर इन दी सीक्वेंस और इससे पहले मैं तीन सेशन करवा चुका हूँ तो आज का सेशन हम यहाँ से कंटिन्यू करेंगे राइट right? तो आज के सेट ऑफ क्वेश्चंस में पहला क्वेश्चन जो है मैं पहला बोल रहा हूं लेकिन सीरीज का ये सिक्सटीन क्वेश्चन है और इसी तरीके से मैं इनको नंबर करूंगा ताकि आपके पास एक ट्रैक रहे कि कितने क्वेश्चन हम इस सीरीज में डिस्कस कर चुके हैं राइट कॉन्करेंटली आप मेरे संग टेलीग्राम पे भी जुड़ सकते हैं और जिससे कि आपको सारे के सारे अपडेट्स और इनपुट्स में आपको देता रहूंगा नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज द फर्म शुड एस्टिमेट इट्स कॉम्पिटिटर्स कॉस्ट एंड परफॉर्मेंसेज एज डैश As dash against which to compare its own cost and performance. So firms, जब competitors के cost और performance को consider करती हैं, तो उनको किस तरीके से consider करना है? Should they consider them as competition or standards or challenges or benchmarks or movable standards in order to compare their own costs and performance? So guys, the correct answer here should be benchmarks. Why? Because this is what the company has to do jab hum when we try to compete in the market we have to always keep an eye upon what the competitors costs and performances is like because this is what we are facing as a challenge this is what we are up against right so only once we see the competitors performance and the cost we set a benchmark by doing that that isse niche kaam nahi chalega this is what is bare minimum and has to be achieved anything below this will be considered substandard so if we have to do better we have to basically excel we have to do better than this benchmark right so the correct answer is benchmark next question <clears throat> holistic marketers achieve profitable growth by expanding dash comma building customer loyalty comma and capturing customer lifetime value so what should come in the place of a blank will it be design skills customer share promotion venues <coughs> database resources competitive space share so the question is basically asking that how do holistic marketers achieve profitable growth so what do they do because of which they are able to build customer loyalty and also able to capture a customer lifetime value so uh, getting a good customer lifetime value means that the more the customer stays with the company or the brand the more he is going to spend on that particular company on the brand and eventually you can make profits the second thing is customers lifetime value will depend on how loyal the customer is with the company or the brand so his probability of staying with the brand or the company is high only when he is happy he is loyal towards the company or the brand and for that what you need is to have a stronger customer share so you can only aim at higher customer loyalty and expect a good lifetime value when you are also catering to a larger customer share you may have a good customer loyalty and also a good customer lifetime value but catering to very few consumers won't help you profitable <coughs> won't help you become profitable in the long run so three things are in together required customer share a good customer share could be should be there that means you should be catering to a big market share and also building customer loyalty and along with it capturing customer lifetime value let's move on to the next question or this question is an interesting one if you were the marketing manager of an organization that has chosen growth via current products sold to new markets your organization would have chosen a dash strategy so basically this question is pointing about the ansofs growth matrix and to expand in the market one of the growth strategies expansion methods is explained in the ansofs growth matrix the matrix has four quadrants or four cells the first one is about market penetration the second one is about market development the third one talks about product development and the fourth one talks about diversification right so of these four options which one is to be considered over here if you are going or catering to the current product but you are looking forward to new markets to jab hum naye markets mein enter karte hain apne existing ya current products ke sath to hum basically kya kar rahe hain हम मार्केट को डेवलप कर रहे हैं सो दी करेक्ट आंसर हेयर शुड बी ऑप्शन बी मार्केट डेवलपमेंट मार्केट डेवलपमेंट है जब हमारे पास एग्जिस्टिंग प्रोडक्ट है एंड वी आर ट्राइंग टू इंक्रीज आर फुटप्रिंट इनटू टू न्यूअर एडिशनल मार्केट्स 
on the contrary if we are trying to cater to the existing market but we are willing to come up with some new product lines or new products all together that would in turn be product development but if we are neither trying to go with the new market nor are we trying to come up with the new product we are trying to grow while catering to the existing market with the existing products we are basically going for market penetration so we have to intensify our marketing activities either by finding new customers in the same market or by increasing the usage rate or by finding the alternate uses for the existing product or by increasing the reach through the channels or by having omni channel uh, concept like that we should be online and offline both so we can basically go through market penetration the fourth and the last option available to the company is go for a diversification now diversification can be of two types it could be either uh, a related diversification or an unrelated diversification right now related diversification is also sometimes called as concentric diversification and unrelated diversification is called conglomerate diversification so these kind of questions can very well be asked in the examination aap ek situation de sakte hain jiske around aap se puch sakte hain ke boss yahan par kya ho raha hai right so diversification और अगर रिस्क की बात करें तो मार्केट पेनिट्रेशन इज लीस्ट रिस्की एंड डाइवर्सिफिकेशन इज द रिस्कीस्ट राइट तो दिस कंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन कैन कम तो आपकी हेल्प के लिए मैं आपको एक टिप देता हूं एंस ऑफ का ग्रोथ मैट्रिक्स आप देख लीजिएगा उसमें इस चीज को डिटेल में बताया गया है और अगर आप ये सारे के सारे कंसेप्ट मुझसे डिटेल में समझना चाहते हैं तो आप मेरा फोर्टी फाइव आर्स का एक वीडियो लेक्चर कोर्स है इसको आप ज्वाइन कर सकते हो इसका लिंक नीचे डिस्क्रिप्शन में दे रखा है हर लेक्चर के बाद आई हैव डिटेल्ड पीडीएफ्स इन दी फॉर्म ऑफ पीडीएफ फॉर्मैट्स यू कैन डाउनलोड देम गेट देम प्रिंटेड लेक्चर्स आर इन इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज एंड यस दी एंटायर कोर्स कैन इजीली बी कंप्लीटेड इन अ स्पैन ऑफ 10 टू 12 डेज प्रोवाइडेड यू स्पेयर 3 टू 4 आवर्स डेली ऑन दिस एक्टिविटी यू शुड बी इजीली बी एबल टू कवर अप एवरीथिंग एवरी लेक्चर इज हैज इज हैविंग इट्स ओन पीडीएफ एंड doubt sessions will be taken through telegram i already take that on telegram the link is given in the description below again and we also will be guiding our uh, successful candidates for interview along with this chapter wise quizzes are also included which covers 1500 mcqs plus along with that previous and expected mcqs are also there so you can use the code jc30 and avail 30% discount straight away For details, you can call upon this number. Anyways, moving further, next question, question number nineteen. Once an organization establishes its business mission, conduct a SWOT analysis, and goes through a goal formulation process. So, we have set up a mission. We have done a SWOT analysis, means that we have scanned the internal and external environment both, and we have also done goal formulation. It is ready to go through a step. which is called dash to continue with the strategic planning process so what should come in the place of the plan program formulation strategy formulation implementation functional analysis or feedback and control it's an easy question to go with why because if you put an attention to this particular word strategic planning strategic planning will only be done after strategy has been formulated so once the mission is clear you've done the homework you've scanned the environment you have set your goals now is the time for you to formulate a good strategy and then go and plan that strategy and then execute it so strategy formulation should be the correct answer over here moving further let's have a look at this question so now what is this mcdonalds has often teamed up with disney to offer products related to current disney films as part of its meals for children the best description of it of this form of alliance would be a dash alliance is it a product alliance is it a logistics alliance is it a pricing collaboration is it a service or is it a promotional alliance now alliance is when two or more companies come together they have an agreement to share and then probably help each other grow so over here you will be confused about maybe pricing collaboration service but the correct answer over here is 
प्रमोशनल अलायंस सो जनरली वेन एवर डिजनी कम्स अप विद न्यू मूवी तो उस मूवी से रिलेटेड दे हैव दैट टॉयज एंड दोज टॉयज बेसिकली गो विद हैपी मील राइट एंड दिस इज वॉट हैपन सो द किड्स कम टू दी मैकडोनल्ड स्टोर दे ऑर्डर दी हैप्पी मील एंड बिकॉज द क्रेज इज देयर ऑफ द अपकमिंग मूवीज शेक का मूवी आ रहा है इसका मूवी आ रहा है स्पाइडर मैन का मूवी आ रहा है आई डोंट नो वेदर इट इज अ प्रोडक्ट और नॉट बट यश so for any upcoming movie or the movie that the disney wants to promote they will have a product placement so in so they cannot place the entire movie in the mcdonald store na so what they'll do is they'll make some toys out of the characters in the movie and then they can place it in the happy meal so to so the kids when they'll go and order the uh, the burgers they will get to collect those characters for that upcoming movie and this in a way will help disney promote its new upcoming movies and these kind of alliance will be called promotional alliance because the alliance the companies are coming together to promote something right so that is a promotional alliance so i hope you enjoyed the lecture going forward i'll be coming up with more such set of uh, videos and i'll also try to increase the quantum the number of questions in every set and the frequency of the videos as well stay tuned and don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel and also do share it with your friends and in case you wish to wish me to have more such videos and please don't hesitate to put it in the comment section kis tarike ke aapko aur videos chahiye comments mein likhein i'll be glad to come up with whatever way i can help you guys bye bye god bless you thank you have a nice day